side of the garden tomb. There's Gail and Esther. This is uh, the road to Golgotha, or the path inside of the garden tomb. People to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. This is the path to Golgotha, inside of the garden tomb. You can see the hill over here. Oops. I guess up to observation platform. This is the front side of Golgotha. And up there, there's a cemetery. Cave over here. This is the British area, this is here. Oh. Okay, this talks about. This is the spot that's described in the Bible. This is the uh, path to the tomb. We're in the garden tomb area. Garden tomb in the garden itself. Little seating areas. I guess people, if they have large groups, can sit. This is the inside of the garden tomb. You can see the markings from the tools. The chisel. Yeah. Okay. Show that, say that. Oh, you can see the markings that go into the rock where they carved it out. Like that. Mm -hmm. And now here, Esther was saying how they don't have to. Esther. They, um, they say they have to give us an end feet. And then they dug the feet, so the feet can go further up. Mm -hmm. That way they don't have to dug the whole thing. And it stays. Mm -hmm. Because when they shrink, mm -hmm. when the tomb they come, those have dropped off at the person, in the, in the part of the body. Yeah. The bone, bones are there. Just the bones will be left. It's just smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They think this is the site. It's because they said that this is the only one. This is not huge. It's so finished. That's that's a uh, that would be very Let's see the where the rock would fit. Good luck. Gail and Esther, and there's a big aloe plant behind them. Really big. You can get an idea of the size. It's probably six feet tall or more. It's right in front, or right to the right of the entrance to the garden tomb. There's the tomb. Wine press inside of the garden tomb area. That's part of the reason that they believe that this actually was the tomb of Jesus, where he was buried and rose again. <laughs> 